our safety and first aid in our daily life we have gone through so many activities in the school on the road at home and in the playground etc a small mistake or carelessness can cause a severe accident or injury sometimes a major injury can even cause death so it is very important for us to be careful and follow safety rules at every instant to avoid injuries and most of the accidents safety on roads we must follow traffic rules while driving the vehicle crossing or walking on the road these safety rules are follow the traffic signals while driving vehicle use the zebra crossing to cross the road always cross the road when traffic signal indicates red signal always walk on the left side of the road do not overtake vehicles when there is crowd on the road safety at home we spend most of the time at home we use many things at home such as electric gadgets table lamp mobile phone etc electric items sharp things and many others can cause injury if we use them carelessly so we should follow certain safety rules at home electrical appliances and wiring should be checked regularly for faults or break in the covering of wire be very careful while handling fire or hot objects use sharp things such as knife blades etc very carefully do not touch electrical switches wires on bare feet and always use with dry hands turn off the switch of electrical items when not in use do not wear synthetic clothes such as nylon while working in the kitchen safety rules at school while in the class or in the playground we should follow certain safety rules in the class do not play in the class corridors or stairs always be seated properly and follow the instructions given by the teacher be careful while using scissors or sharp objects in the playground always follow the rules of the game do not pull or push others use the sports item properly first aid sometimes even after following the safety rules accidents may take place we should not panic we should be able to handle minor injuries immediately first aid may be defined as the first or immediate help given to injured person before medical aid is provided by the doctor remember first aid has great importance for an injured person it may even save the life of the injured person we should also know when first aid is needed and when immediate medical help from a doctor is needed if the injury is not serious such as a small cut scratch or small burn we should give first aid if the injury is serious like brain injury we should go to a hospital immediately first aid for cuts and scratches clean the cut or scratched area with an antiseptic and cotton wool press the wound with a thick pad of cotton wool tie a clean bandage or cotton cloth around the wound if the wound is caused by a rusty object take the victim to the doctor first aid for nose bleeding nose bleeding is very common for children during summer it is due to the rupturing of the walls of the blood vessels in the nose in such case make the victim sit up with his head tilted upwards ask the victim to breathe through mouth not through nose hold and press the bleeding area of the nose for 5 to 10 minutes to stop bleeding first aid for sprains Sprains generally occurs around wrist or joints due to twisting of muscles around them. In such case, make the victim sit in comfortable position. Apply a cold pack or ice cubes bag on the affected area. Wrap the bandage around the swollen area to avoid its movement. Ask the victim to take rest without moving the affected area. First aid for fracture. When a bone in the body breaks or cracks it is called a fracture in such case the affected body part must not be allowed to move 
Use a sling made of a triangular shaped cloth to support if the fracture is in the hand. Apply a splint around the fractured part. It gives support to the broken bone and prevents its movement and further dislocation. Take the victim to a hospital immediately. First aid for burns. Fire, steam, boiling water or milk, hot objects, crackers, chemicals like acids, electrical spark, etc. cause burns if not handled carefully. Burns are of two types, minor burn and severe burn. Minor burn Even a minor burn is very painful, but we can treat it at home. Wash the minor burn with cold water for a few minutes. Cooling will reduce the pain. Apply an antiseptic cream to prevent infection. A paste of baking soda and water can also be applied on it to get relief. Severe burn In case of severe burn, go to a doctor immediately. Do not prick the blister. Also, do not remove any piece of cloth stuck to the burnt area or apply any cream or ointment. Burns caused by chemicals If burns are caused by chemicals, wash the affected part with plenty of cold water after removing the clothes, if any, from the burnt part. Cover the affected area with sterile gauze and take the victim to a hospital immediately. First aid for animal bites. Animals like dogs, cats, bats, etc. may carry the rabies virus. They may cause infection when they bite. Wash the wound with water to wash away their saliva which can cause infection or a disease called rabies. Apply an antiseptic cream to prevent infection. Take the victim to the doctor immediately. Snake bites. Snake bite can even cause death if not treated properly. So, in this case, if a poisonous snake bites someone, keep the bitten body part below the level of heart. Do not allow any movement of this part. Tie a cloth or a bandage tightly on the bite to control the spread of poison in the body. Take the victim to a doctor or hospital immediately. Anti-venom injections are very effective in such cases. First aid for poisoning. Intake of common chemicals such as nail polish, naphthalene balls, paints, detergents, medicines, etc. cause poisoning in the body. If someone consumes poison, try to make him or her vomit and take the victim to a hospital or doctor immediately. Elementary safety measures and alertness while using gas, fire, electricity and chemicals can help us to lead a safe life.